Hey, Collective Hey. So, I really don't have a channel message. Um, we're going to see what want to come out. Um, but I'm hearing be patient. I'm hearing be patient. It's like something about this Tupac shirt, like all eyes on you, you know, all eyes on me. You know what I'm saying? So, but I'm hearing be patient. So let's see, what is the message for the collective today? Why do they need to be patient? What's going on? All right, wow. So two cards flipped over. We got intuition and then harmony. Dope. Okay, so collective, you're someone who's very intuitive here. You're very intuitive. You get direct downloads from the divine. Um, you could also be a dreamer, but your intuition is telling you something about this connection. There's a connection um, that you're currently in. You could be separated but I'm getting this is someone that you have been intimate with. This is a romantic partner of yours. Yours, excuse me. But use your intuition. It's like your intuition is telling you something about this connection here. Because what I'm also getting, this goes back to be patient. You could be overthinking. You could be in your head a lot, okay? Yeah, we got shadow at the bottom of the deck. It's like this person... And you also collective. It's like you're doing your shadow work right now. You know what I'm saying? But spirit is saying, use your intuition. This person may not say a lot, but it's something about their actions. With, um, You need to pay attention to what they're doing and not what they're not saying, if that makes sense. Pay attention to what they're doing and what and not what they're not saying. Because your intuition is telling you something about this. This is a, a um, divine connection is what I'm getting also. This is definitely a divine connection. But I'm also seeing like the temperance card. This relationship or this, um, this connection is being balanced. But it's like in divine timing is what I'm getting. And you're getting downloads on this collective trust. You're getting downloads. Listen to your intuition, okay? Because it's like you you have a knowing already. You have an inner knowing already. Yeah. Let me use these. Then got it to pull from the Angel Oracle deck. What else about this connection? Their intuition is telling them something. Yeah, I'm getting um, you're in separation with this person. Ooh, hold on, too many fell out. Yeah, but like I said, I'm getting you're in separation with this person, okay? Because with harmony, it's like you're coming together. Yeah, can't make it up in the near future. You, and it was just 333 um, on the phone. In the near future, um, this union is coming together. Spirit said yes on the bottom of the deck. Cannot make it up. But again, yeah, your intuition is telling you something. You're having dreams. Yeah, we got forgiveness. Someone is, um, so this person is going to come in and ask for your forgiveness is what I'm hearing. Okay, and we got success at the bottom of the deck. So this is going to be a successful um, connection here when it comes together. But Spirit said in the near future. What else? Okay, we got no... So there's something that spirit is saying no about. Don't give up. Yeah, don't give up. A year from now, I cannot make it up. Spirit is saying don't give up. Because collective, I feel like you're, you're kind of wanting to walk away from this connection. It's something in this connection that you're not getting in the physical realm, in the 3D. But it's like your intuition is showing you something. Your intuition 
is showing you something, your dream, something is showing you something about this connection. And spirit is saying, use your intuition here. Do not give up. Spirit said, no, do not give up on this connection, okay? Because this person is going to come in in the near future and ask for forgiveness. But this is a divine connection. And remember, a year from now, this is a divine connection here. Um, I'm hearing gravitational pull. It's like it's a gravitational pull. Yes, can't make it up. Spirit said no within the next few weeks. Do not give up. Do not walk away collective. Don't. Within the next few weeks here. Remember, we just got this in the near future. Spirit broke it down within the next few weeks. Spirit said no, do not walk away. Don't walk away. Yeah, remain positive. Can't make it up. Let me get one more card. cannot make this up yeah so i'm getting collective yeah you've been wanting to so we got um no need to worry and then we got choose a new direction so um this is um i'm getting the masculine energy is energy take what resonates but this choose a new direction um this masculine has decided to choose this new direction and come towards you okay so spirit is saying there's no need to worry you know, they've chosen a new direction. I'm hearing a decision has been made. Okay, what else? We're going to pull from the romance oracle deck. Ooh. Yeah, and the, the my alarm went off at 7.07. .07 and it was... um. I had just said the romance that, yeah, so this is like a romance of a lifetime is what I'm hearing. Uh, there's a um, big romantic connection here. Um, I did say gravitational pull is what I was hearing. What else about this connection? We got, it's safe for you to love. So yeah, it's like, this is the one and we got free yourself. So um, you could be holding yourself bound. You could be up in your head. You could be um, creating illusions for yourself about this connection, but spirit is saying it is safe to love. I'm hearing this is the one. Because remember, within the next few weeks, something is gonna take place. Spirit said, do not walk away. What else? Hold on. And I have to get up to cut that off. I just want to finish shuffling it. <laughs> what else? Okay, we got stay optimistic. Yeah, stay optimistic. Think positive. You know, we got this could be the one at the bottom of the deck. Remember, you're a powerful manifester. Um, you get downloads from the divine here. So be mindful of what of what you're thinking. Stay optimistic. This person is um I'm hearing they are going through like a shadow work process. The purge. Too many. This may be it from this deck. Okay, we got codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So um, I'm getting this is the other person collective. So they have a codependency. There is, there is an addiction that they have, okay? But they're going to come in and make the effort here, okay? And yeah, this says new love So at the bottom of the deck. So this is not... Um, your ex. This is not someone from your past. Um, this could be a recent relationship, meaning um, you've met this person recently within the last year, maybe. 
Yeah, you're in a separation right now. Can't make it up, but there's going to be a honeymoon coming. Yeah. Forgiving and learning at the bottom of the deck. So, um, you guys are going to learn, learn, excuse me, from each other in this connection and is what I'm hearing also. I'm hearing, I'm also hearing like Hierophant uh, and the High Priestess. Like both of you are divine beings, okay? But again, Spirit is saying it's safe for you to love. Bottom of the deck, we got the Ace of Pentacles here on the Tarot deck. So that's definitely a brand new beginning. A gift from the divine. Okay. What else about this connection? Let's clarify intuition. Okay, can't make it up. So we got <laughs> the judgment card to clarify intuition, okay? So it's like spirit called judgment. I'm hearing time's up. So collective, yeah, you know your intuition is telling you that this is your person. You know that they're coming towards you, okay? Yeah, we got queen of swords. See, because you spoke your truth. You spoke your truth with the page of swords. This popped up again at the bottom of the deck. You spoke your truth collective. So it's like there's some news coming in. It's delayed, but it's coming. What else? What else? Yeah, page of cups. Can't make it up. Someone has um, a lot of emotions for you. Page of Swords, again, at the bottom of the deck. Cannot make this up. I'm going to take this out. Yeah, um, it's some news coming. There is definitely some news coming. Somebody is coming in to offer you something. Um, it's just delayed right now. Again, we did say that your person is currently going through some shadow work. It may be some things that they're working on or that they need to get together, okay? Okay. So, the, it, there is some news coming, trust me. And it's like, it's being divinely, um, this person is being divinely guided with the judgment card. They know time is up and they know that they have to come towards you. They don't want to miss this opportunity, can't make it up. You couldn't marry this person with the hierophant at the bottom of the deck. But um, this someone is who is who is going to be very committed to you. Someone who is very loyal. What else? Let's clarify page of cups. Clarify page of cups. What are they coming in offering? Or what are they their emotions? Yeah, wow, we got the page of wands. They're watching you. Oh, wow. Nine of cups at the bottom of the deck. This person sees success with you. This person sees success with you. Yeah, can't make it up. Justice. So, yeah, we got justice and a devil card. So, it's like this person is kind of obsessed with you, collective. Okay, this person is kind of obsessed with you with the devil card at the bottom of the deck. With the justice card, they're definitely... um. I'm, I'm just seeing some kind of contract here, okay? I'm seeing some kind of contract here. Again, um, I'm not getting a legal issue. I'm getting... Um, this is a commitment. This is a marriage. Remember, we saw the Hierophant. Yeah, we got the um, Eight of Cups. So, yeah, your person had to walk away from some things, had to leave some things behind. What else? Yeah, um, something ended. There's some sort of communication that's going to come in. Something ended. This is why we got the Eight of Cups. Your person walked away. Or either I'm also getting your person walked away because there was some sort of communication that came in. 
and something ended with the death card or some communication is gonna end some shit, okay? Either or, take what resonates. Yeah, the real card cannot make this shit up. It's a new um, cycle that's coming in that's about to take place. But it's like you have a, your intuition is telling you all of this um, collective. What else? Yeah, this person is gonna get the strength or is gaining the strength is what I'm hearing to come in and speak to you, to communicate with you about what they want to communicate with you about. Let's clarify the eight of wands. What is this message? Wow. We got the will of fortune. This is fate. This is fate. <laughs> Can't make it up. Yeah. Let's clarify the Wheel of Fortune. What is faith? Okay, we got the Ten of Wands here. So someone is burdened. But someone is going to speak their truth is what I'm getting. Um, but they're burdened right now. Let's clarify Ten of Wands. What is this burden? What is this burden? Wow. Cannot make it up. We got the three of fucking swords and the ace of wands. Okay. So this person is burdened between this heartache slash this third party situation and this new beginning with you. So I'm going to say a, a, um, the heartache because they're walking away. Okay. Remember something ended. So they're walking away. But this person is heartbroken. But they're also bur stressed thinking about this new beginning with you. There's a passionate new beginning um, that is on this person's mind. Yeah, with the Six of Pentacles, they want to come in and give. Equal give and share. Okay. What else? Let's clarify the Ace of Wands. What is this um, Ace of Wands? What is this Ace of Wands? Yep, the Fool card. This person ready to come in and take this leap of faith. They see success with you, collective. Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck cannot make this shit up. This Six of Wands is, talks about public success, public victory. Um, so you could be celebrity. You could be um, an influencer just on a social media platform. But this is about public success. You could be some sort of motivational speaker, but people look up to you. So, yeah, um, this person is thinking about this passionate new beginning with you. They're ready to take this leap of faith here. They're ready to take this leap of faith. Um, let's clarify harmony. Let's clarify harmony. Wow cannot make this up wow ace of fucking cups at the bottom of the deck to clarify harmony with the nine of cups here this is success this is the ultimate wish fulfillment a happily ever after a happily ever after this is dope um i'm not gonna take this from, oh wow the emperor Oh, this man is a boss. What else? Let's clarify the Nine of Cups. Ooh, too many. Let's clarify the Nine of Cups in harmony. What else about this connection? Yes, there is a lot of success that lie here. Success and abundance um, in this uh, connection collective. Wow, Ace of Pentacles, this is a gift from the universe. Could be the both of you. Yeah, so we got the um, Five of Wands in reverse. And then we also have the um, Seven of Cups in reverse. So this person is no longer confused. It's like there was some sort of confusion at first. There was some sort of an illusion or this person had options. 
they wasn't sure what they wanted or it was a lot of confusion surrounding this connection also is what i'm hearing but it came out in reverse both of them there's no longer an illusion there's no longer confusion or he's no longer confused he's decided with the ace of pentacles yeah <laughs> this is a gift from the divine i had already said this is a divine connection um okay we got the yeah we got the three of pentacles here with the chariot at the bottom of the deck yeah there there is no longer this third party situation i'm also getting um your relationship could be private because it's like there's no more third party situation here with the chariot card this person has definitely moved on or is currently moving on okay i'm also getting um the scenario where um this person is coming towards this okay this is like a private wedding or you see it's three people okay like this relationship may um have to be kept private is what i'm hearing let's clarify this three of pentacles why is it here Oh, I'm sorry. We um, I'll let me see because we had another card that came out, um, but I forgot about it. <laughs> okay, so we got the three of cups, and then we got the queen of cups here. So, okay, yeah, this was definitely like was a third party situation. Yeah, this person, like I say, is no longer confused, no longer none of that. They're ready to come in and celebrate here with you with the three of cups. Okay, because this person see you as um, the queen of wands here. You're very sexy. You're very intelligent. Um, you're very alluring. You're very attractive. Okay, um, you're very creative and passionate as well. And this person want that with you. We had also got the lover's card that came out. So this is definitely um, a divine connection. See how the angel is like orchestrating this union together. So you're being divinely guided, collective. You're being divinely guided. Yeah, with the Page of Pentacles. So there's some news um, that is coming in. This is dope. This is a dope reading. So what else? Okay, yeah. So we got the... Um, we got the seven of wands here and then on the bottom of the deck we got the six of swords so yeah this union like i say it's being orchestrated by the angels it's, it's protected with the seven of wands here there are angels protecting this connection and angels um are guiding i'm um, getting this divine masculine to move away from things that no longer serve him this could be you and him moving away together you know to create this this happily ever after what else wow cannot make this shit up the emperor and the fucking hierophant cannot make this shit up wow okay so yeah this man is a boss okay he's very loyal this man is very committed though he's gonna be um a traditional type man this man is gonna want a higher level of commitment here we got the emperor and we got the fucking hierophant how the fuck do we get the emperor and the hierophant this is the this is the ultimate wish fulfillment divine feminine i'm hearing this man is gonna change your life is what i'm hearing what else this is dope Yeah, we got the um, Five of Pentacles and we got the Empress. Yeah, so right now, this man, like I say, it's going to change your fucking life, um, Divine Feminine. We got the Five of Pentacles here. You could be in a very low vibrational situation right now, okay? You could be feeling like he left you out in the cold. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, this Emperor know you the fucking Empress, okay? And he coming to get his fucking Empress, period. Yeah, with the King of Cups. Cannot make this shit up. This man is very, um... He may hide his emotions, but this man is very emotionally um, attached to this Divine Feminine. We cannot make this up, man. We got the Emperor and the fucking Empress.
what else? Let's clarify the Empress and the Emperor. Why are they here? The Empress and the Emperor. We got the Empress, the Emperor. We got the lovers. <laughs> this is dope. This is a power couple. I'm hearing Beyonce and Jay-Z. Wow, we got the two of wands. So, um, wow. So this is secret. Ooh, <laughs> wait, this is secret. So, um, somebody is going to be about to travel or about to move. Okay. Somebody is making plans. I'm getting this emperor is making some sort of plans here, but these, these plans with the two are wands. Yeah. And it's just, this just literally when it fell, it flew right on top of the emperor. So this emperor is making some kind of plans, but these plans that he's making is hidden, is secret. Well, he think it is, but you know, you're a high priestess collective, so you get downloads from the divine. That's why we got this card, the beginning of the reading, your intuition. Your intuition is already telling you certain things about this connection, okay? So, and, and I'm also hearing he can't keep nothing secret from you. What else? Let's clarify this two of wands. Okay, we got the king of swords here. Yeah, so um, this emperor, I'm telling you, he's going to come in and speak his truth. He's coming in to speak his truth here. Yeah, because with the two of pentacles, he's been juggling a situation, okay? He's been definitely juggling a situation, and with the four ones at the bottom of the deck, um, I'm getting, see, we got the four ones and the, the knight of cups. Yeah, this person could be coming in, want to move you into this house. This four ones is about family dynamic here, celebration, wedding. But it's something that he's juggling. Let's clarify the two of pentacles. What is he juggling? What is he juggling? Tell me more. Okay, we got Knight of Wands. So somebody is passionate here. Okay, so yeah, he's in his head right now. Or he was in his head, okay? We got the Knight of Wands. The... The Knight of Swords, I'm sorry, with the Four of Swords here. So um, I'm getting this person was in their head about coming towards you, okay? But that with the Three of Wands here, this person has made a decision. They're, they're rushing in. They're ready to come rushing in and offer you something, okay? And also, this person is very passionate about you. They could be immature at times to you. Yeah, see, this man is going to change your life. This emperor is also the king of pentacles here. There's a whole new wave that's about to come in with the royal card. And I didn't even, I usually say cycle, but I heard wave. There is a whole new wave that is about to come in with the royal card. Some shit is changing. There is a new cycle taking place. What else? Let's clarify the royal Clarify the royal card. Why is it here? Wow, we got the hermit and the fucking high priestess again. So I'm hearing it's like you're isolated right now, collective. You're isolated. <clears throat> You went within and did some soul searching, um, gotten into your um, spirituality, you know. But see, we got the chariot card and then we got the eight of pentacles here. Somebody is working on something, okay, um, before they come in, okay? 
this masculine is working on something before he come in. That's why the whole point of this message was about patience. Patience. Yeah. This part cannot make this shit up. We got the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck with the Ace of Cups and the Knight of fucking Wands. This person is very passionate about you. This matter, I'm okay. Let me say it the getaway. This nigga in his feelings about you, okay, collective. This nigga in his feelings about you. We got the Ace of Cups with the Knight of Fucking Wands here. With the Hierophant, this man want a commitment. If the Hierophant come back out, um, this person definitely want a wedding. Yeah, we got the Sun card. You make this person happy. This could be a past life connection here, but um, you make this person very happy collective. That's the happiest card in the tarot deck. Okay, what else? This came back out. It was at the bottom of the deck. So this is the Eight of Swords here. Let's clarify the Eight of Swords. Let's clarify the Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Yeah, we got the Eight of Swords. We got the Nine of Wands. Yeah, so somebody's been up in their head. The fucking Hierophant came out. This man want this. See, this something ended. Now they want this new beginning. They want this commitment, okay? Because this person see you as the fucking star collective. But somebody, this could be you or it could be them. But somebody is up in their head. Feel, making themselves feel bound like something is holding them back. Or it's, I'm getting this is you collective. You got your guard up here with the nine of wands. It's like you got your guard up. You ready to defend yourself. You, you, you have yourself in an illusion. Okay. But we got these. Something ended with the Ten of Swords. But with every ending, there's a new beginning. This person has healed. This person see you as a star. You could be an earth angel, but this person most definitely want a commitment with you. This person is going to be very loyal to you is what I'm hearing. Yeah, and very passionate about you with the King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So I'm going to get ready to end this reading. I'm going to just see if anything else want to come out. But yeah, so it's like your intuition is telling you all of this collective. You know that this is a divine connection, okay? Um, spirit is saying have patience. Patience of virtue is what I'm hearing. So be patient because um, the angels are doing something. The divine is orchestrating this union together. So you need to work on yourself collective. There are things that you could be doing that you could um, be working on, you know. So when this union comes together, like if you're a mother or if you have children, you know, make sure that um, your children are respectful. Make sure your children have good manners. You know what I'm saying? Like um, there are things if you are an entrepreneur, you might be a boss. Yeah, you're an entrepreneur with the nine of pentacles. Can't make this shit up. Ace of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. You a boss, bitch. Okay. You very independent. Okay, that's confirmation. But at the end of the day, um, back to the whole point, you need to, I'm going to um, take this out since it's on the bottom of the deck, um, the Ace of Pentacles here. Yeah, you a boss, you independent, okay? You need to focus on your business. Work on things um, that you can be working on or doing on your own time other than focusing on this connection right now. Let the divine do its job. Okay, because we got the six of swords came out. So yeah, um, you're being divinely guided. Cannot make this shit up. Cannot make this shit up. Six of um swords with the four of ones again. I'm also getting twin flame with this um four of ones. It's eleven eleven here. But you're being divinely guided to move away. This man is gonna move you away, is what I'm getting, but he's holding on to something he's waiting on something but with the king of cups this person has a lot of emotions for you and this connection do um have them up in their head okay but at the end of the day congrats congrats you know i hope you like the video and until next time